Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. May our Lord be with you. After the bread of Palm Sunday, we convert to the purple of Holy Week, Lent's last days. We call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you came to gather all the nations into the peace of your Father's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Come now, and Lord, and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. But come again in glory with salvation for your people at the end of time. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Now, mighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. We pray, O oh God, grant it. That through, that though in our weakness we fail, we may be revived in passion. God's Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Here is my servant to my uphold, my chosen one with whom I am pleased, upon whom I have put my spirit. He shall bring forth justice to the nations, not crying out, not shouting, not making his voice heard in the street. A bruised reed he shall not break, and a smoldering wick he shall not quench, until he establishes justice on the earth. The coastlands will wait for his teaching. Thus says God the Lord, who created the heavens and stretched them out, who spreads out the earth with its crops, who gives breath to its people and spirit to those who walk on it. I, the Lord, have called you for the victory of justice. I have grasped you by the hand. I formed you and set you as a covenant of the people, a light for the nations, to open the eyes of the blind, to bring out prisoners from confinement and from the dungeon those who live in darkness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? The Lord is my light and my salvation. When evildoers come at me to devour my flesh, my foes and my enemies themselves stumble and fall. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Though an army encamp against me, my heart will not fear. Though war be waged upon me, even then will I trust. The Lord is my light and my salvation. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. May our Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Six days before Passover, Jesus came to Bethany where Lazarus was, whom Jesus had raised from the dead. They gave a dinner for him there, Martha served, while Lazarus was one of those reclining at table with him. Mary took a liter of costly perfumed oil made from genuine aromatic nard and anointed the feet of Jesus and dried them with her hair. The house was filled with the fragrance of the oil. Then Judas Iscariot, one of the disciples, and the one who would betray him, said, why was this oil not sold for 300 days wages and the money given to the poor? 
He said this not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief. And he held a money bag and used to steal from the contributions. Jesus said, leave her alone. Let her keep this for the day of my burial. You'll always have the poor with you, but you will not always have me. A large crowd of Jews found out that he was there, and they came not only because of him, but to see Lazarus, who had been raised from the dead. Chief, chief priests plotted to kill Lazarus too, because many of the Jews were turning away and believing in Jesus because of him. The gospel of the Lord. They tell us that the oil she was using was probably the oil they were going to use to anoint Lazarus, who was dead and was resuscitated. And that's not a resurrection. Jesus resurrected to a different world. Lazarus came back to this one. He would rather have gone to the better world, so don't we all. But it's a great story. Not only was Judas a betrayer, he was a thief. And it tells us he was a thief. <laughs> He's a loser. Judas is a loser. But he was one of the 12. Pilate was a loser. Okay, you, you didn't get put in charge of Palestine because you were a hero. You know, that, this, this foreboding place, hot, and dreary, and dry, Palestine, the Dead Sea. Who cares about that? You probably got sent there, you know, well, they had a... They, Promotion by moving him over here. You know, it's important to understand this. Suppose Judas had gone on a camping trip that week. The crucifixion still would have happened. It's not about Judas. Judas is not important. Judas is not. If he'd taken a heart attack, somebody would have betrayed Jesus. They knew who he was. If Pilate had been a, a better leader with the backbone, okay, they still would have gotten Jesus. It's not about Pilate. It's not about Judas. It's about the Father and about Jesus. That's who the story is about. The role players don't really matter. The key people are the Father asking Jesus to die for us. And Jesus accepting that he must die for us in perfect obedience. And out of that perfect obedience, the Father raises him. Jesus didn't, it's not fair to say Jesus rose. Jesus was raised by the Father who was so pleased with the son's perfect love and obedience. Love for us, obedience to him. That's what the story is about. Don't worry about Judas or Peter or Pilate. The people to worry about would be us. Do you understand what's happening? Do we grasp what's happening? This is not just another execution, like thousands that the Romans executed. This is about one man loving us enough to die for us. Sinners though we are, it's about us. What will this week mean to us and for us? And that's up to you. Let us stand, my friends, and we'll offer our petitions to the Lord. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For Pope Francis and all the church, that they may lead us into a deeper understanding of the passion and death of the Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our nation's leaders will govern with wisdom and good counsel for the well-being of all citizens. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the containment and eradication of the COVID-19 virus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who asked us to pray for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Anna Cannon, for whom this Mass is being offered, may they be at peace with God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, the days of your son's life-giving death and resurrection approach. Draw us through your grace, your life within us, even more deeply into his death and his resurrection and our hope of eternal life. We make all of our prayers through Christ our Lord. 
Amen. Amen. Pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. Look graciously, Lord, upon the sacred mysteries we celebrate here. And may what you have mercifully, mercifully provided to cancel the judgment we incurred bear for us the fruit of eternal life. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the days of our Lord's saving passion, glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated through him the host of angels adore you and rejoice in your presence forever may our voices blend with theirs as we say holy 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 Lord God of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory Hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord Hosanna in the highest You are indeed holy, O Lord, and the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like to the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. Giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper ended, he took a chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood. Blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and praise you and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, 
who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace to the Lord be with you always. We share some sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word and my soul shall be healed. So, as I tell you every year, if, if you have your druthers, the mass to attend tomorrow would be the Christmas, which is now up to four o'clock at the cathedral. There are things done tomorrow at that mass that are only done at that mass. You know, as we have our oils right over there, or maybe Dave took them. No, they're still there. And they'll be replaced by the oils blessed tomorrow. I cannot consecrate chrism, only a bishop can do that. I can consecrate the oil of the sick. Suppose somebody takes a heart attack. I can, I can bless the oil of the sick, but I cannot consecrate the chrism. And it's just, a, it's an interesting mass. When I was newly ordained, the priest would dominate the church in terms of numbers. There might have been 300. Now there's less than 100 of us, and we take about five rows. We used to take up like 40 rows. But that's the sign of where we are and how desperately we need priests to replenish the troops. There is no JV team. 
you're looking for a JV team, you're going to look a long time because there are, there are very few priests, seminarians coming. But it's an interesting mass with beautiful music and um, all the deacons are present. It's just a beautiful mass. And we can get to Central City Scranton easily. You know, I have friends who watch from Georgia. They're not coming to Scranton tomorrow, but we could. And it'd be a much more, you know, pompous and, and powerful mass than the basic 8 o'clock mass in the morning. Do what you wish, but that would be a good mass to attend if you can. Let us all stand to pray. Visit your people, O Lord, we pray, with your ever-watchful love. Look upon these hearts dedicated to you by means of these sacred mysteries, so that under your protection we may keep safe this remedy of our eternal salvation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be with you. Mighty God blesses our families, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our liturgy ends, we go in peace, glorifying God with our lives. Thanks be to God.